Hello, uh, very good evening to all of you today. We are going to discuss um, uh, a letter which is written to an endocrinologist. Uh, this letter is written to Dr. Liam Johns, who is an endocrinologist, City Hospital, Edinburgh. And we are going to uh, request him uh, the further management of Mrs. Grant, the patient. Mrs. Grant's sugar levels, that is a blood glucose levels. Okay, so let us go ahead and uh, detail with the question. So the patient's full name is Mrs. Olivia Grand, and uh, who is age 59. So she's nearly her borderline to age, aged. So she's crossing 60 soon. So that has to be understood. So you have to keep that in mind. So she's not uh, a young lady. She's an older lady. She's retired. So now we have a positive family history of type 2 diabetes mellitus for this patient. And this patient has got diabetes mellitus since 2002. Now we have other significant data is what we can see is about the, 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 the medicines which are taken for uh, type 2 diabetes. That's metformin and glyphoside. The dosage and du duration is given there. So that's important there. Now, uh, the story starts on 5th of January, 2022. That's exactly 10 years after um, her type two diabetes diagnosis. Now, when you assess her, you found that she was very anxious and tensed about her blood glucose levels and uh, blood sugar levels and also BP. She's worried about BP. She's worried about her uh, blood glucose. And she often attends healthcare center and she feels not taking her concern seriously. Recent blood sugar level um, 16, 6 to 18. Now, we have other, uh, some data which are irrelevant here. Now, what we have said, uh, what we have uh, added here, a medicine is added to her existing regimen that is uh, Atacan, the Atacan, that is Candestran for MG. So this is an a uh, this is an addition uh, of medicine, so that we have to report because if you are adding something or subtracting something, then you have to report. So twenty second we have got the pathology reports of Mrs. Grant, which um, showed the HbA one C ten percentage. So we have made serious changes in the medication. So we had metformin 500 mg, and this dosage was increased to 750 mg. Duration is the same. And we have atovastatin added to the existing regimen. Now, we have already a medicine added before. So we have changed the, or we have increased the metformin dosage by 250 mg and atovastatin was added to the existing glyphosate is exactly the same. You can see on 15th February, you can see she has got her sugar levels improved, her BP is in the normal range. But in 21st, uh, uh no but on 7th of this march that is today we can see we have reviewed a pathology report and we have seen that the fasting blood sugar 
crossed 16 that is extremely dangerous level so it's a hazardous level here uh, it's measured in mm oil per liter liter 16 mm oil per liter so that is hazardous so we have to this is um, a medical emergency so you need to see uh, the specialist doctor as soon as possible so that's the reason why we are writing this letter to mr no dr johns now we can start dr lamb johns endocrine allergy city hospital edinburgh I'm writing to refer Mrs. Olivia Grant, who requires for the management from you to control her high blood sugar levels. That said, we have nothing to write else that she's uh, suffering from type 2 diabetes or something like that. Anyway, we are going to write it uh, in the next paragraph, so we don't need a repetition. That's why we are not writing a diagnosis as type 2 diabetes in the purpose paragraph we just need to address the concern that is high blood sugar levels it is addressed patient's name requirement everything is clear now mrs grand who has a, a positive family history here okay you can say family history of type 2 diabetes mellitus was diagnosed with the same in 2002 and has been on metformin 500 mg twice a day and glycoside 5 mg twice in the morning so um i can reduce the the word count like this and has been on metformin 500 mg and and glycoside 5 mg twice a day or twice daily okay so we reduce some word count there on her first presentation on 5th january 2022 she was anxious about uh, both her blood sugar and blood pressure levels which were recorded high on further examinations. So um, what has happened on her first presentation? When was it? And uh, she was anxious. And we have recorded both these things high. After adding tablet candestra and 4MG to her existing medication regimen, she was asked to return after two weeks with her pathology reports. So that's what the advice given to her on her first visit. Now, what we have in the second part, based on Ms. Grant's pathology reports, which recorded her HbA1c 10 percentage. So, um, pathology report came, and you can see her HbA1c was recorded at high as 10 percentage. And on 30 January, her metformin dose was increased by 250 mg. I can say it's not grams. It's a correction here, 250 mg. She was also commenced on at her worst at 20 mg once uh, in the morning. Yeah. Um, Yeah, uh, once a day, I can say once a day, not once in the morning. Okay, I can go with once a day. Just don't care. Once a day. Although her condition improved in between during uh, today's review, her fasting blood sugar was recorded over 16 mm oil, uh, per liter. Analyzing the need of a specialist evaluation, she has been referred to your care. So that's the reason why you are writing this letter to the specialist. So we have understood what happened to her. She was she has a history of uh, diabetes, family history of type 2 diabetes mellitus. She was diagnosed with the 
diabetes mellitus in 2002, and she was taking metformin and glipizide. Uh, when she presented to us on first, uh, first presented first to us on fifth January, she was extremely anxious um, that she uh, about her blood blood glucose and blood sugar level, uh, blood blood glucose and blood pressure level, which she was worried that it was not uh, properly taken care of by when she was attending some other care. So that's the reason why she came here. And we assessed her, and for further examination, we uh, we analyzed that her blood pressure and blood glucose was higher than the normal level. So we uh, we made we added a medication there, and we asked her to come for a review, along with her pathology results. That's the first part. Her pathology results came, and when she came with the pathology re reports, we found that her HbA1c was high as 10 percentage, and uh, a change in her medication regimen was uh, made on 30th of January. So we have increased the dosage of metformin by 250 mg. Now we have also commenced at over at 20 mg. The rest of the medicine, so we have not mentioned glyphosate 5 mg because it's it's ongoing medicine. We have not made any change there, so we have not mentioned there. Now we have um, seen that February there uh, her condition was stable. Her condition, um, her blood pressure came to normal. Her blood glucose came to normal. So we have to say although her condition improved in between, we are not mentioning what what was the period. During today's review, we have a, a person's name, Mrs. Sharma. So we are not mentioning here. So that's not that much relevant. So that's why if you want, you can mention the person's name, but it's not that much relevant there. So today's review, she her fasting blood pressure, blood sugar level was recorded over 16 mm oil, which is over the hazardous level. Hmm. Uh, analyzing the need of speci specialized evaluation, she's been referred to your care. So that's what we have, uh, the purpose of all these things. So we have divided these things into two segments. And the request is there in the last paragraph. It would be appreciated if you could assess Miss Grand now. Grand along with her pathology reports. So you have to assess both the patient and the pathology reports in order to bring her blood sugar levels within the normal range. So, so that's the reason why we are writing the letter to this person. Now, um, we have one more thing to inform him is that um, she, she's allergic to penicillin. So this is something which has to be noted. Of not, she has allergy to penicillin. You can write in that way too. If you have any further queries regarding Ms. Grant's condition, Please do not hesitate to contact me. You're sincerely the registered nurse. That's it. And um, I hope you have understood the, the case, the sample too. Hope to meet you soon with another letter. Till then, bye.